It's really very simple. I need to start contacting people every day. I need to start answering my messages and I need to start setting up collaborations. I need to start asking. I know it's going to hurt, but I need to not do that or say that. All it does is trigger anxiety. We can't let that happen. If your dreams are really important and you can't sleep at night because you need to move forward, if you can't sleep at night because what you're looking for has to happen, even if you know it's hard, it may be better off to just not say those words. It just seems to empower the body and make it difficult already. This is the TMC project where I conquer all of my inabilities to really achieve a goal of building a personal development brand that has the ability to impact millions of people and I can't get in my own way so I'm not going to. Thank you. Here's the goal. I'm going to stop this video and I'm going to start doing the follow-up that I haven't done for the past couple of days. I'm going to set a timer for 20 minutes. This will allow me to stay on point but I'll also not exhaust myself and then I'm going to be right back so that way we can figure out how good or bad I did and if I got distracted then we're going to move on to the next one. I'm excited to show you this journey. I think everyone should have a real honest look into someone's struggles of trying to grow and build something. I hope it helps. Let's go. Okay, it's been 20 minutes and some distractions. I started making burgers and started hitting Instagram. I hashtagged personal development and then after that I decided to go with recent because I want to get people who have just recently posted and I'm looking not necessarily for other brands that have millions of followers, I'm looking to make an impact. And <laughs> it's a really good time. I'm really finding that my mind is coming with good comments that I believe are adding value, whether it's to the person who's making them, who made the post, or value to the other people who will read those comments. <laughs> and it feels exciting and that's fucking awesome. So much so that I'm going to reset the timer. I'm going to go another 20 minutes on Instagram and I'm going to get back to you after that. Also, I made some burgers. I'm pretty excited about those. I'm going to post those, a picture of those burgers to Instagram. Then from there, I'm going to reset the timer and start attacking next set. Hashtag personal development. <laughs> uh, <laughs> First and foremost, having to do these in these individual cuts, well, they are forcing me to notice that I'm distracted. It's almost like a timer of like, you're being distracted. <laughs> I caught myself watching a couple of YouTube videos, about 10 minutes worth, and you know what's funny? I can't even remember why I was doing it. <laughs> now I remember, if you watched yesterday's episode, I said I was gonna get the episode completely edited. And that didn't happen around midnight or so. I just couldn't keep myself together, so I went to bed. I did finish it after I got all my daily routine stuff done, but I hadn't uploaded it, and that ended up being a bit of a distraction. I've since then started the upload, created the blog post, and got all that sorted. I'm not gonna work on the thumbnail right now because it is a distraction, and I need to get back to Instagram since the real goal today is to leave meaningful comments on recent posts hashtagged personal development and that's where we're at right now it is loading but i also kind of got distracted youtube analytics i got another subscriber which puts me at 12. i have no idea what video triggered them but i'm really grateful i need to find out how to see who my subscribers are so i can send them a message <laughs> all right i gotta get back to instagram keep up the great work Whew. Wow, <laughs> that was hard. I spent about two and a half hours on Instagram under just two hashtags, one being personal development, the other one being self mastery, which is a new hashtag I wasn't aware of. I really should take the time to play around and make a list of them. Yeah, I need to do that. I'm gonna write it down, give me one second. Insta or IG. So, what does two hours get us? 25 comments, all truly meaningful, really honest. I'm very lucky in uh, ADHD truly is a double-edged sword. I really do have to feel all emotions if they're mentally salient. 
However, on that flip side, I really can read a post and not only always really feel some powerful emotions behind it, I tend to have something to say and not just to be heard, but actual something of meaning. And doing this over the past two hours has only verified that as so many of them have really responded with either how insightful my comments have been or how I was able to articulate against it. And that makes me feel really good. It means I'm doing something right. And I hope it also builds awareness. I got, let's see if we can see this stupid mirror. There we go. You gotta love strokes, they're easy to count. So we've got five sets of five. That means that's 25 legitimate comments that I put on posts. And I went with recent only. So what's the philosophy behind recent versus most popular? Most popular is very muddy and I'm just, I'm just one in a sea of comments. Where going by recent, it allows me to get people who don't have a following or preferably people who are not interested in building a following, but rather people who are looking to be inspired. I want to affect those. Yes, collaborations with brands would be helpful. However, since we've talked about this before, I'm not currently going or have a system to do the asks for collabs. So putting stuff in there really muddies it up. I do know that there is a way of using the most popular. By using the most popular, I could go into the comments. People who did leave a comment go to their profile and see how I could add value to their life. And I believe that would have a similar effect of finding people who are interested in my thought process and feelings. I would rather just leave very powerful comments within a very small gap of time when someone posted their post. But I might be wrong. That's the thing. I'm willing to test it. By following one track, I will actually be able to see its effect and then at a certain point that will get boring. Not that the activity is boring. Everything becomes boring for me. It's the struggle of ADHD and it is the primary speed bump in my success. But what's our motto? We're always going to keep moving forward and through constant progression, I will get what I desire. It's just the way it is. It's why I'm healthy now. It's why I'm happy with how I look. It's why my relationship is a success. Now it is time to make this a success and I'm very happy with how it went. I'm actually kind of foggy. Yes, it came naturally. However, it is work. It's a thought process and you can, I can feel it right here in the, in the front of my head. I think it had to do with staying focused and really trying to make a quality comment and it also makes sense. I can't just ramble on like I do here <laughs> and then smash cut it where it still doesn't make any sense. I actually do have to write something that the reader can understand defaultly without having to do any kind of mental gymnastics. And it's working and it feels great. Actually, it feels so good. I think I'm finally going to be able to give myself a gift. I've talked about Final Fantasy XI in the past couple of episodes, and it's what I want to do for recreation. It's also one more way I can build my brand. Uh, Ted Huff gave me the amazing idea that I should be streaming on Twitch, since I refer to a lot of my personal development as you know being a support class and knowing your strengths and then playing to them. And I can talk about that a lot on Twitch, and the only game I want to play is Final Fantasy XI. I can't do that if I don't have it set up to stream first. Again, a uh, the best way to make sure you get what you want is whenever you find something that you like or something that you would enjoy gifting yourself, you've got to put things that you have to do in the way of what you want to do. And that way you compound the process. Not only do you do things you're not interested in doing that will move you forward, there's a prize on the other side of it that you actually want because you didn't give it to yourself. And I really feel like I've actually accomplished enough on this to where I can spend time setting that process up. No, I don't even get to play today. Uh, maybe tonight I'll get to play. However, if I want to play, it means I need to be either capturing his content or live streaming it and not really so much stressing about that. That means the next part of the day and the next part of the process is going to be researching how to, is setting up a stream account, setting up a Twitch account. Once that's set up, do a little bit of research, probably set a 20 minute timer. What are the best practices for streaming Final Fantasy XI? at which point I will then figure out how to capture it. I mean, I could easily use QuickTime, but that might make it run a little slow. I already know what I'm going to do for content, and I know that I'm going to put it on YouTube. So right now it's more just about getting it done. See you on the flip side. <clears throat> I got it to work. I was able to 
get OBS to work. I was able to get it to stream through Wine because I'm playing on a Mac. The text looks like complete garbage, so I need to fix that, but it's great. I was able, managed to do it for 30 minutes and I managed to get the stream work and I managed to record it. Now I need to see how well it plays in Premiere. It's gonna play great in Adobe Premiere, everything does. That software's in crazy, crazy powerful. Yeah, that's exciting. I mean, this has been a really good day. I'm happy with all the things I've accomplished. I still have a lot to do. Now that I got the streaming working, I can start planning on how I'm gonna go about it and I need to make it look a little better. Still have a couple things to do for the website. We're gonna make a cover image for the daily vlog yesterday and I need to get all this video off the camera and start transforming it over. Tomorrow's gonna to be a pretty awesome day. I'm very happy with how successful today has been. Although I am very tired and have a bit of a headache, you really can't beat it. It's gonna be dinner, dishes, and then hit the gym with my wife tonight. I'm pretty excited, let's go.